Hey everybody, we got a Fafnir game here for you. And this is the last... Oh, I lost my dumb border with Fafnir, that's sad. Uh, this will be the last game with Fafnir that he can apply Spear of the Mages to Towers. It's really sad. It's because they're removing... They're not removing, they're changing Spear of the Mages passive, right? For In Season 7, which means that Fafnir won't be able to remove the Towers protections anymore. It's a sad day for... Daphne dual mains everywhere. All three of us. Okay. Well, as always, Special's Blessing into Bancroft's four health, one mana. He's Hachiman, so it's not like a special case scenario where we need to go with something else uh, against Hachiman. Yeah, it's still Bracer. Bracer's very good on Daphne. Yeah, uh, I've been getting some questions on whether Daphne will be viable in duel when Spirit of the Mages changes. Yeah, yeah, he will be. Daphne will still be very good. In duel. Uh, I don't know if he'll build Spirit of Mages, because in Dragon Form, it sounds like it could be very good, but... Are you going to proxy me? Does this guy proxy me? Oh my god. What do you think you're doing? He just wanted that little tiny bit of damage, I guess. Was that worth it? Was that worth it from him? I guess so. It's a diamond hodge, man. Okay. This hodge man's freaking me out, dude. Uh, also, I'm using regular OBS to record now. I used to use Streamlabs OBS, but I was having a lot of issues with it, so... Ah, uh, every time I find the perfect settings, I just switch to something, you know? Okay. Let's all find Dandy. Unfortunately, I can't really take minis. We're going to be ahead because he's missing out on gold, which is great. He has health trials because, you know, Hachiman passive. Doesn't need mana potions. I think I might be able to outstand him, actually. I should have used my two there, by the way. Uh, to give my one a little bit more damage. It's, su it's a, such a small amount of damage in the early game, though. It's not really that big of a deal. He has his ult to, I'm guessing, run away. I'll use it anyways. Tons of damage there. Looks like he's recalling. I don't know if he actually is or isn't. No, he's not. No, this man is not recalling. That's fine. I didn't get his relic, which sucks, but, you know. Wow, he's playing pretty far back. But yeah, anyways, I am super excited about Season 7, you guys. I believe it comes out tomorrow, I want to say. I don't know. I was wrong last week. I thought it was coming out last week, and then I was wrong. So that's whatever. Wow, he has so much sustain with his passive, man. He is out of uh, potions, though. So if I start just throwing hammers at him, he will have to run away eventually. comes and contests as we stop him. Okay. Looks like he's just gonna recall though. Yeah, I guarantee he's recalling right now. Otherwise he would be attacking my next wave. Alright, that's fine. Out sustained Hachiman as Fafnir. Again, for those that aren't aware of uh, my Fafnir techniques, uh, Fafnir is all about late game. You just want to survive the late game. So if you're winning in the early game, that's usually a really good sign because I guarantee you we win this late game. Okay, I guarantee it. Yeah, and the reason why Special's Blessing of, instead of Major's Blessing is Special's Blessing gives 20 MP5 all the time, whereas Major's Blessing only gives 20, 20 MP5 if you're completely out of mana, which isn't good. It's not enough to sustain for Fafnir. And also the cooldown reduction, getting that right away is like crucial. Being able to have my hammer like twice a wave is the difference in clear. And having my ultimate as much as possible also. Whereas Major's Blessing takes too long to evolve. This guy's proxy me again. Dude. Okay. Don't be a clown. Okay. I'm fine with that. 
could have even possibly stayed, but not worth the risk. Not worth the risk of being first blooded. Just be like, okay, you had you got that, I'm out. I do like to play very greedy, but at the same time, he had a full mini wave. If that mini wave was not there, I might have stayed just because my 3 1 would have definitely killed and had my ult. And, you know, I, I was low on mana, but when you ult, you uh, you get mana back. That does a faster buff they did a while back. I wonder if they bash me here. No, nope, it doesn't look like it. Alright, we're just gonna. We're gonna start. You know, rotating to minis and taking some buffs because he is playing really far back. And I kind of don't want to deal with that. It's so weird. Usually, Fafnir is the opposite of most Guardians in the fact that usually he has to play far back until late game. Like, kind of like a mage. Um, but you can, you can still play him aggressive. If you have a nice little, nice little lead. Now, we don't want to take this because I don't have my stun up. And without my stun, I can't guarantee my ult. It would just be wasted now. Now I can attack and press on him, assuming he uses that precious dash. Just ult out, which is great. Still hit him with my ult. I still actually get him, I think. Yep, great. He's dead. He has no shell. He wasted his shell earlier. Perfect. Also, can I just say, I don't think I've seen a Diamond Hachiban skin. That skin is clean, dude. That skin looks good. Perfect, we're going back. The amount of tower damage I can get there is little to none. I'd rather be back for full health of mana for once red buff spawns, because that's where the next fight will be. This is going well, this is going well. Yeah, when Season 7 comes, man, I want to record as many games as possible and get some more edited gameplays on my channel. Because those are the ones I enjoy making, you know? I enjoy making those a lot. I enjoy making these too, but I did the gameplays. Have a spot in my heart. Alright, I would hammer him, but I need it for the wave. So we just need to outweigh his autos. Alright. I will take the other mini. We're not gonna actually be able to take the buff, just the mini. my two for the heal. I have enough MP5 at this point. Or enough mana sustain that I can just pretty much use it for the tiny bit of the heal. Again, don't hammer him because we gotta wait on this next wave. Okay, he just uses escape. So in three seconds, I'm gonna one, you know, combo him. This escape will be coming up shortly, but I should still get him. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Even with shell. Gotta love Fafnir damage, man. Now, we will take uh, Red Buff then immediately detransform, because the faster you detransform after a kill, the uh, faster you get your ultimate up, because it doesn't go on the line until you know, transform. Nice, nice, nice. Now, if I'm really greedy, I can go for his... I'm full health, half mana. I can go for his blue buff. It's risky though. <clears throat> Plus he knows I'm taking it. Alright, we got it. Just gotta juke. Juke. I'm great at juking. <laughs> I mean, he had some stuff, but it wasn't that big a deal. Now we go and take minis. This is so weird. This is like, I'm, I'm usually not able to take this many buffs this factor because you know, it takes so long to do it. You know, part of me thought he would just go straight for my blue buff, to be quite honest. Now, don't get me wrong. I am kind of like PvEing, but at the same time, I'm willing to fight him. It's just, I don't think he's willing to fight me. He's gonna dash. He's gonna dash. There it is. Wow, it wouldn't have been able to get him. So I didn't use it. Because if he if I ulted and he counter ulted, it's like that would have been a waste of my ult. Just save it for next time. Alright, now would be a good time to back. Uh when I was over here, I made a mistake in going around this way, like back to wave. 
Uh, because that allowed him to go and get my blue buff. That was my mistake. It's not a big deal, but just thought I would mention that. It's good to learn from mistakes. Alright, let's start working on Spear of the Mages. Uh, do I want Blink? Yeah, yeah, I do want Blink. After he uses Gabe to Blink Hammer, or possibly if I can even chase his ult with Blink, you know, it's, it's big. There's nothing to take right now, so he's, he sits in the back. I am going to need to sell these health potions pretty soon because I need some wards. Wards are very important. Alright, he just used his escape, dude. Escape is down. It's coming up very shortly. I might wait for it. Might not. Might not wait for it. Alright, cool. Yeah, with a lot of guardians, that is really the playstyle. You. You, you know, you, you poke them out, you hit them, run run back a little bit, you know, you're just waiting for an opportunity. Like, if you see them needlessly dash, you you, you go and you all in them because they can't do anything. Or they're forced to use something big, like an ultimate, you know? <laughs> oh, he's rushing Toxic Blade. He doesn't like my healing, apparently. I mean, I have health, health, chalice, bankrupt, and I have a, uh, what's the word for it? And I have my two. Health, chalice, my two, and bankrupt, which is a lot of healing. My auto's hit for 68, his six for 71, that's sad. I'm looking for 30. That's also because I have, uh, what's the word for it? I have breastplate. Oh, I also have bracer <laughs> for healing. not saying. Okay. Push these minions in. Go after red buff. Oh my lord, we are, two, what, 2,000 gold ahead, oh, ahead of him? Nice. Very nice. Yeah, uh, I lost my Fafter Diamond Border the other day because I lost a game against Cupid. I uh, screwed up the late game. I basically dived him in Phoenix when he had his ult up and I just died. Because I had, had enough, no beads or anything. And then he took my Phoenix Titan all in one go. Even though I was like a head and ton of kills. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. So I don't get to finish with the Diamond Border. Unless I win this, then I might get it back. If he uses his dash here, we kill him. Doesn't look like he's going to. Looks like he's going to save it. Dash. You know you want to. I'm in the position where you can stun me. You know you want to dash. Yeah, he's not gonna dash. Still do half his health. I can just keep poking him and something off. Dash. There it is. There it is. Now we just ult him next time he's dead. Yeah. If we ult him and there's no minion wave around, I can just hammer, stun him, ult, he dashes, so he ults, or no, he just dashes away and then I can blink. And just kill him. But, we also need some wards. Now, we are going to go a Divine Ruin because of his Bracer. And obviously, Divine Ruin has very good stats. It has power, penetration, you know, anti-heal, it has really good stats. And in general, it's good against Chalice of Healing as well. Chalice of Healing is a lot of healing over time. I don't like surprises. Okay, I get from getting that. That's great. I try to hit him with as many autos as my two before I use my three as possible because then that's stripping his protection to Spirit of Mages now. It was funny. Last Fafnir video I had. I made the mistake in trying to show off the Fafnir Shredding power protections, right? And I didn't have Spear of the Mages online yet, it was just my Bancroft's passive. It was kind of funny. In my- I remember when I recorded that, it made sense in my mind. Like, I was just talking about the mechanic, and I didn't have it. Like, I knew I had to go buy it, but I got- I got myself confused. Because I was thinking I still have to buy it, but I just wanted to explain it, right? And then I saw the numbers going up, and I was like, oh, I, you know, it's happening. When I didn't have it. 
You're gonna have to ult again. Keep at it. By the way, I blink. Look at that distance. That closing the distance. I was over there half a second ago. <laughs> I just blinked into his tight room and got him. Man, that shows how strong Blink is. And obviously, Fafnir Jump. I'm pretty sure Fafnir Jump is longer in Dragon form. People ask me that a lot. Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see. Radius? Wait, no, that's a rate. That's how big it is rather than the length. Oh, well. 61, 64, 67, 60, 71, 75. There's your Spear of the Majors. Again, it makes a difference of like 10 damage, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's mainly, the, the fact for next season is mainly that Spear of the Majors is a core item off after when you're fighting your opponent. You know, Dragon Form, everything is tick. Tick damage, damage over time. And you know, next season, new Spear of the Majors is gonna, it's gonna, I'll have to try Spear of the Majors because in Dragon Form, It'll still kind of work, but I don't think it'll be that good. I imagine he's taking Boulder me right now, trying to sneak it, assuming I'm going to back. Nope, he's not. I just went for my blue buff. Yeah, I can see his too. He went for his, my blue buff. He's just trying to get as much farm as possible. I can maybe scare him here into using his escape. Close off his escape route. We'll get away, I think. My leap's on a pretty short cooldown, though. Now, if he dashes, I can pull the catch in. No. Now, I'm still in dragon form for eight, 17 seconds, and I'm pretty sure I one combo him, so. Stays. Wait for the stun to run out before using my next stun to CC lock in. Yeah, I don't have my out there, though, yet. Phoenix damage, it's not gonna be much, but well I can take it, I can take it. He doesn't have anything up really. He can't really stop me. Oh, that's not good. Don't think I'll die for it, but Okay, now we're fine. Sometimes I'm forgetting how far ahead I am. I'm almost four thousand gold ahead of this man. No, three thousand two hundred? The three thousand mark is like the how on earth do I come back, right? I've come back from in games where I've been really, really far behind, but that's just because my opponent was, like, really overconfident. I've never come back from a far... from being far behind if my opponent wasn't overconfident. Like, if they were just being safe and playing it right, I can't come back, usually, if I'm super, super far behind. Upgrade Bracer's great here, because... Bracer on Fafnir is not only about the Bracer heal, that's mainly for early game. Once they get anti-heal, which he has a lot of, it's for the upgrade Bracer. Because in Dragon Form, if you combo them, and then, you know, use all your abilities, and then they're getting away, you can upgrade Bracer, chase them, and then just kill them. It's pretty much a uh, guaranteed kill with upgrade Bracer. Because it's just too much damage. Nobody can, nobody can deal with that amount of damage. Oh, you yeah, doing that. He's gonna ult away. I blink for that, though. Come on, ult. Ult! No, you want to. No, you want to ult. I'm not, I'm not using anything until you ult. Or until I know I can kill you. Oh. No. <laughs> Miscalculated the shell. I still can kill him, though. Now his ult's down, he has, I didn't use any relics for that, and he used two relics for that, I think. If I was paying attention, which I probably wasn't. Now he used his shell and ult, so... Okay, he got uh, Aussie, which is great, because I, <laughs> I already have that to heal, nice. He's not dead. Oh, he stayed in my ult, he's dead. Unless I whiff this? Nah, he good. Wait till it runs out. Such a long CC. No, he still had Bracer, but it didn't matter because that's the time ruin. Awesome. Awesome. GG. A game to show Fafnir's true power at the end of Season 6. Rest in peace, Fafnir applying Spirit of Mages to Towers. You will be loved.
How will I ever record a Fafnir game without mentioning that mechanic again? I have no idea. But... That was very enjoyable. Okay, so uh, I'm going to check the stats real quick. It's always fun looking at the player damage and stuff. GG. Here's the builds, final builds. And here's this. Gold per minute, 872. He had 673. Player damage. Had like twice his player damage. He did have more... Oh, I was going to say he had more damage mitigated, but no, that's not the case. <laughs> I have over twice. Oof. All right, well, GG, you guys. Thank you all for watching and supporting the YouTube channel, and look forward to Season 7. Uh, season 7 videos. See you guys.